Welcome to this talk about identity-based encryption for fair anonymity applications, defining, implementing, and applying randomizable RCA Secure IBE for AsiaCrypt 2021. I'm Yi Wang, and this is a joint work with Rongmao Chen, Xin Yi Huang, Jian Ting Ning, Bao Shen Wang, and Mo Ti Yang. In this talk, we mainly consider the applications of fair anonymity. For example, in the scenario of anonymous communication, users in the anonymity set communicate with each other in an anonymous manner. Once someone abuses the anonymity service for illegal activities, we hope there is a trusted authority that can revoke the anonymity of malicious user. So the fair anonymity aims to achieve a balance of individual privacy and societal safety. Obviously, identity-based encryption, namely IBE, is a natural candidate for such a setting. IBE was introduced by Shamir in 1980s and the first efficient realization was proposed by Bonan and Franklin in, 2020, in 2001. In IBE, Alice encrypts messages with the identity of Bob, for example, email address, and Bob can decrypt the ciphertext with secret key, SKBob, which is generated by the Key Generation Center namely KGC. So the KGC can check any ciphertext generated by the users and play the role of trusted authority in previous scenery. Apart from the fair anonymity, the other properties of such anonymous communication put some extra constraints on the underlying encryption scheme. First, the scheme should support the randomization of ciphertext so that the server can hide the connections of incoming and outgoing ciphertext. In particular, the randomization of ciphertext does not change the underlying identity and the plain text, so Bob can still obtain the correct plain text from ciphertext C prime. Besides, it is desirable that the randomization of ciphertext does not involve any public parameters. Second, the ciphertext should be anonymous and do not reveal any information about the identity of the receiver. Otherwise, the attacker can correlate ciphertext with respect to underlying identity as the randomization of ciphertext does not change the identity. Third, the encryption scheme should be secure against active attacker who can probe the server with malicious ciphertext. A combination of those constraints points at randomizability receiver anonymity, and RCCA security. In particular, RCCA security is a meaningful relaxation of CCA security for public key encryption, and it is compatible with randomizability. So we turn to study how to achieve those properties in the context of IBE simultaneously. Here are our main results. First, we define a new security notion called Anonymous Identity-Based RCCA Security for IBE. Then, we implement a concrete IBE scheme that satisfies Anonymous ID RCCA Security and randomizability. Finally, we apply this IBE scheme to build identity-based universal mixed net with fair anonymity.
Now, we introduce the, the def a definition of anonymous ID on CCA security first. In fact, Gantry has defined the notion of anonymous ID CCA security already at Eurocrypt 2006. It is a combination of ID CCA security and receiver anonymity. In the security game, adversary first chooses two identities, ID0, ID1, and two plaintext M0, M1, after receiving the public parameters generated by the challenger. And then, it is required to guess the identity IDB and plaintext MC of challenge self-test C star generated by the challenger. During the whole game, the adversary is granted access to key generation and decryption oracle and decryption oracles. We imitate the definition of RCCA security to formalize the notion of anonymous ID RCCA security. The main difference between anonymous ID CCA and ID RCCA security lies in the decryption oracle. Specifically, in the decryption oracle of anonymous ID RCCA security, if identity, if identity ID is equal to either ID0 or ID1, the challenger would decrypt the self-test C with both SKID0 and SKID1 and check whether the decryption results intersect the plain text picked by adversary. Otherwise, the challenger decrypts C with SKID only and check whether M is equal to either M0 or M1. Anyway, those additional actions prevent adversary from winning the game trivially. Next, we introduce how to build a randomizable IBE with anonymous ID RCCA security. At the core of our construction is the double strand paradigm. In the Elgamma based universal crypto system, the cipher test of plain text M is composed of two strands of L gamma encryptions, EYM and EY1. By the homomorphic properties of the L gamma encryption, strand EY1 can be used to re-randomize both EYM and itself correctly. So the double strand paradigm offers an elegant way to re-encrypt cipher test without any public parameters. However, this paradigm cannot be applied to the well-known gantry IBE, as ID CCA security contradicts to the homomorphic property. To overcome this issue, we describe the gantry IBE scheme briefly. Let E be the symmetric bilinear map, P be the Random generator of G. A in brackets denotes AP and A in brackets T denote EPP to the A. The cipher test of Gantry IBE consists of three parts key cipher test, data cipher test, and validity checking. During the decryption procedure, the validity checking part is used to test the validity of cipher test, while the key cipher test is decrypted to obtain the session key for recovering the plain text from data cipher test. In particular, 
the value of vector beta in x4 changes with x1 to x3. So, re-encrypting cipher test EIDM with EID1 would not get a valid cipher test. Consider that re-encryption does not change the plain text M. We modify vector beta in X4 to a vector mu and obtain a variant of gantry IBE. The vector mu includes the hash value of plain text M. Now, we can obtain a gantry IBE-based universal crypto system by applying the variant of gantry IBE to the double-strand paradigm. However, this construction does not satisfy anonymous ID RCCA security. Because the adversary in the security game can guess the plain text and re-encrypt strand EIDM, by performing exponentiation with it and verifying the guess by curing the diffusion oracle. So we have to restrict the manner of randomization. To defend against previous attack, we introduce extra components in the validity checking part of both strands and perturb the randomness S in strand EIDM with Z0 and Z1. However, adversary is still able to re-randomize EIDM by performing multiplication with public parameter identity and uh, plain text. To restrict the randomization minor further, we mask the validity checking part with a secret value u and encapsulate u with another two strands, e prime id u and e prime id1. The random value u shared among those four strands prevents adversary from obtaining valid cipher test by mixing strands from different cipher tests or randomizing strands with public parameters. Now there is only one way to randomize the cipher test. To prove the anonymous ID RCCA security of our construction, we make negligible modifications to the simulation of security game step by step. First, the setup and the extraction algorithms are modified to generate secret keys without master key. Then, the challenge plan cipher test is computed using an alternative encryption algorithm such that the distribution of cipher test is independent of the underlying identity IDB and the plain text MC. Finally, the challenger answers all the decryption queries via a time unbounded decryption algorithm that uses public parameters and the challenge cipher test only to decrypt cipher test. At this time, the, the extraction and the decryption queries do not provide extra information about master key and the secret keys to the adversary, and the challenge cipher test perfectly hides the identity and the plain text. So the advantage of adversary is zero. Finally, we present a ID-based universal mixnet based on such IBG. Universal mixnet is usually constructed for providing anonymous communication among parties. A ID-based universal mixnet consists of a bulletin board, a trusted authority, 
a set of standards, receivers, and mixed nodes. For simplicity, we assume there are n senders, n receivers, and three mixed nodes. In the initialization stage, the trusted authorities play the role of key generation center and generate secret keys for each users and the mixed nodes. In the packet generation stage, suppose every sender SI intends to send messages MI to a receiver R5I, where function phi is a bijection that depicts the relationship between senders and receivers. The packet P1I generated by sender SI is composed of two parts. One is the symmetric ciphertest of messages, and the other is IBE ciphertest of symmetric keys. All the packets are uploaded to the bulletin board. Then, the first mix node, M1, downloads all the packets and performs mixing operations. In particular, it decrypts the first IBE ciphertest in packet P1i to obtain symmetric key K1i, and then decrypts the symmetric ciphertest with K1i. Finally, mix node M1 randomizes the rest of IBE ciphertest and generates a new packet P2i. and uploads all the new packets to the bulletin board in random orders. Similarly, Mixnode M2 downloads packets from bulletin board and performs same mixing operations, and uploads all the packets P3i to the bulletin board in random order. After mix node N3 completing the mixing operation, the receiver can download all the packets from bulletin board and decrypt every IBE server test to retrieve symmetric key and decrypt the corresponding symmetric server test to retrieve messages. Compared with previous universal mixnet, our identity-based universal mixnet achieves fair anonymity. The trusted authority can revoke the anonymity upon abuse. Also, due to the anonymous ID RCA security of IBE scheme, our mixnet enjoys stronger unlinkability. Finally, the IBE eliminates the public certificate management, and our mixnet can provide more covert communication for the sender. And this is all the main results of our work. Okay, that's all. Thank you.